Welcome to the Bible Quiz Channel. Get ready for 15 engaging questions about the Holy Bible. Subscribe and like to support us. Share your score in the comments. Join our channel to access exclusive content and support our mission. Let's start the quiz. Question 1. What is the name of Esther's cousin who raised her? A. Haman B. Mordecai C. Ahasuerus D. Vashti Time to think. The right answer is letter B. And he brought up Hadassah, that is, Esther, his uncle's daughter. For she had neither father nor mother, and the maid was fair and beautiful, whom Mordecai, when her father and mother were dead, took for his own daughter. Book of Esther, chapter 2, verse 7. Question 2. What was the name of Abraham's first son with Sarah? A. Esau. B. Jacob C. Isaac D. Ishmael Time to think. The right answer is letter C. And Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him whom Sarah bare to him, Isaac. Book of Genesis, chapter 21, verse 3. Question 3. What was the name of the Roman official who was converted by Paul's preaching on the island of Cyprus? A. Cornelius B. Elemas C. Sergius Paulus D. Gallio Time to think. The right answer is letter C. And when they had gone through the isle unto Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew, whose name was Bar-Jesus, which was with the deputy of the country, Sergius Paulus, a prudent man, who called for Barnabas and Saul, and desired to hear the word of God. But Elymas the sorcerer, for so is his name by interpretation, withstood them, seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. Then Saul, who also is called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set his eyes on him and said, O full of all subtlety and all mischief, thou child of the devil, thou enemy of all righteousness, wilt thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? And now, behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee, and thou shalt be blind, not seeing the sun for a season. And immediately there fell on him a mist and a darkness, and he went about seeking some to lead him by the hand. Then the deputy, when he saw what was done, believed, being astonished at the doctrine of the Lord. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 13, verses 6 to 12. Question 4. What did Jesus say to his disciples about the harvest being plentiful but the laborers few? A. The harvest is bountiful, but the laborers are sufficient. B. The harvest is small, and the laborers are few. C. The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. D. The harvest is plenteous, and the laborers are many. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. 
the harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. Gospel of Matthew chapter 9 verses 37 and 38. Question 5. Where did the sun stand still according to the book of Joshua? A. Jericho B. Gibeon C. I D. Hebron Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Sun, stand still upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Ajalon. And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed, until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Book of Joshua, chapter 10, verses 12 and 13. Question 6. What did Jesus tell Peter after he said he would never be offended because of him? A. This night, before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. B. You are a rock, and upon this rock I will build my church. C. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. D. Feed my sheep. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 34. Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, that this night before the cock crow, Thou shalt deny me thrice. Question 7. Who did Peter heal at the beautiful gate of the temple? A. A man who was blind. B. A man who was lame from birth. C. A woman with an issue of blood. D. A leper. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 3, verse 2. And a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. Question 8. What were the Israelites instructed to do with the silver, gold and vessels of brass and iron taken from Jericho. A. Distribute them among the tribes. B. Offer them as sacrifices. C. Dedicate them to the Lord and put them into the treasury. D. Sell them and use the proceeds for the poor. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. But all the silver and gold and vessels of brass and iron are consecrated unto the Lord. They shall come into the treasury of the Lord. Book of Joshua, chapter 6, verse 19. Question 9. What did Moses say about the Israelites' clothes and shoes during their 40 years in the wilderness? A. They made new clothes and shoes every year. B. Their clothes and shoes did not wear out. C. They were given new clothes and shoes by the Lord each season. D. They wore the same clothes and shoes without any changes. Time to think.
The right answer is letter B. And I have led you 40 years in the wilderness. Your clothes are not waxen old upon you, and thy shoe is not waxen old upon thy foot. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 29, verse 5. Question 10. In which chapter of the book of Revelation does John describe his vision of the new Jerusalem? A. Chapter 19. B. Chapter 18. C. Chapter 21. D. Chapter 22. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 2. Question 11. Where was Deborah sitting when she judged Israel? A. Under a vine. B. Under an oak tree. C. Under a palm tree. D. On a mountain. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. And she dwelt under the palm tree of Deborah between Ramah and Bethel in Mount Ephraim. And the children of Israel came up to her for judgment. Book of Judges, chapter 4, verse 5. Question 12. What did Jesus declare about the law and the prophets? A. Think not that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. B. The law and the prophets were until John. Since that time the kingdom of God is preached. C. I give unto you a new commandment, that ye love one another. D. The law and the prophets have no relevance in the kingdom of God. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Question 13. In which city did the apostles first preach to Gentiles? A. Antioch. B. Jerusalem. C. Ephesus D. Corinth Time to think. The right answer is letter A. And some of them were men of Cyprus and Cyrene, which, when they were come to Antioch, spake unto the Grecians, preaching the Lord Jesus. And the hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number believed and turned unto the Lord. Then tidings of these things came unto the ears of the church which was in Jerusalem, and they sent forth Barnabas, that he should go as far as Antioch. Book of Acts, chapter 11, verses 20 to 22. Question 14. What were the names of Haman's ten sons who were hanged on the gallows? A. Parshandatha, Dalphon, Aspatha, Paratha, Adalia, Aradatha, Parmashta, Arasai, Aradai, Vajazatha. B. Nathan, Abner, Hiram, Lemuel, Tola, Jotham, Eliada, Mahalil, Zabad, Ahara. C. Shalom, Kore, Elkanah, Abiasaf. Azareel, 
Elsafon, Bokim, Shafat, Jathniel, Zeresh. D. Mishma, Zena, Nefesh, Jaflet, Shuham, Jether, Dagai, Zuar, Elon, Amar. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. And the ten sons of Haman, Parshandatha, and Dalphon, and Aspatha, and Poratha, and Adalia, and Aridatha, and Parmashta, and Arisai, and Aridai, and Vajazatha. Book of Esther, chapter 9, verses 7 through 9. Question 15. What was the reaction of Adam and Eve after God called unto them in the garden? A. They confessed their sin immediately. B. They blamed each other. C. They ate more fruit from other trees. D. They hid themselves. Time to think. The right answer is letter D. And the Lord God called unto Adam, and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. Book of Genesis, chapter 3, verses 9 and 10. Wow, that was an enlightening journey through the scriptures. How did you fare? Remember, whether you aced it or learned something new today, the Word of God is always full of wonders waiting to be explored. Now, if you enjoyed this quiz, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Let's see how they do. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more quizzes and biblical insights. And most importantly, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below with your score any questions you might have, or even suggestions for future quizzes. Together we can grow and deepen our understanding of God's Word. Thank you for joining us today, and may you always be blessed on your spiritual journey. Until next time, stay inspired.